In this video, I want to start talking about that idea that I keep referring to as the empty body. just want to talk a little bit about what that idea means to me and maybe a couple of exercises that might help you work towards achieving the empty body. These exercises are by no means exhaustive. They're not the only ways to do it, not the only ways that I do it. Again, I, with these videos, I want to open doors, give you ideas of things to work with rather than try to prescribe and say, this is the way you do things. The first thing I want to say about the empty body is that I feel like that term is a little bit of a misnomer because it's not just the body. There's a physical component to the emptiness, but there's also a mental component to the emptiness. The physical component to me involves having a relaxed body, but also a body that doesn't hold chronic tension, a body that's free to move, that's strong, that's fluid, and that's relaxed. The mental component of the empty body is very different. The mental component in the empty body means having a clear mind, an open mind, an altered state of consciousness that a Bhutto dancer achieves. And one thing I want to stress is that this altered state of consciousness is different from a trance. I feel like a trance focuses attention, sharpens attention, but the altered state of consciousness of a Bhutto dancer is more of an widening, an opening of your attention, a mindfulness, a mindfulness that doesn't project, a mindfulness that doesn't judge, a mindfulness that is clear, that is relaxed, clear mind, not cluttered by thoughts. That's a hard thing to achieve and it takes some practice to be able to maintain that focus, that concentration throughout a performance or a Bhutto session or Bhutto rehearsal. These two exercises I wanted to um, describe to you, I got from these books by this Buddhist monk, Tarthang Tolku. He moved to America in, I forget, the 60s or 70s. And he wrote these books, which don't explain the Buddhist vision of reality. It explains his vision of reality, which is a personal philosophy that he developed. He calls it um, Time, Space, and Knowledge, A New Vision of Reality is the name of one book. Knowledge of Time and Space is the name of the other book. He wrote a whole series of books on this. I found them really interesting. I don't remember which of these two books I got these exercises from, but I'm going to do my best to describe them. I haven't read those books in years, so this is definitely going to be my take on these exercises. So the first one is simply this. It expands on the idea of time being infinite. The way he describes it is when we think of time being infinite, we usually think about it as being infinite into the future and maybe also infinite into the past. But there's another way to think about it, which is that every moment is infinite. So he has this simple exercise that can help you develop that awareness of every moment being infinite. And the exercise is simply this, walk across the room as slowly as you possibly can. And while you're walking, try to be mindful of each individual instant. The moment when your foot is heading towards the floor, when the moment when your foot is almost touching the floor, when it's barely touching the floor, when it's pressing its weight on the floor. And then you expand your awareness of each moment to see the infiniteness, the infiniteness of each moment, the infiniteness of the energy, the infiniteness infiniteness of the activity, the infiniteness of the expanse of the whole universe. And again, just like that breathing exercise in the earlier video, you don't just do it for a minute. You do it for a long period of time, for five minutes, for 10 minutes, until you reach that state of clarity, of emptiness, of an empty mind, as well as an empty body. The other, the other visualization he gives plays on the idea of the universe being space, an empty space, really physically empty space, not a metaphorical empty space. The idea is this, you just close your eyes and begin to visualize the spaces in your body. And you start on a larger level, the space inside your mouth, the space in your ears, the space in your lungs, the space between your organs, the space inside your heart pumping, the space inside your veins and arteries. And you begin to create this awareness of your body as space. And in your visualization, you go down to a smaller and smaller level until you reach the level of molecules and atoms, which we're taught is mostly space. That, e that even the atoms that make up our body are mostly space. Just create that awareness in your visualization of space, space outlined in light, 
and then that light opens up into space and then you open your eyes and you try to bring that awareness to everything around you that everything is space outlined in the light that opens up into space and that gives you both the empty clear mind but also it begins to create this in your imagination this connection with everything everything is just space outlined in light and you're a part of that anyway those are just a couple of exercises that i found very very useful and maybe you it may help you develop your own visualization your own way to do it but there's so many so many different ways to create a relaxed mind an empty mind and a relaxed body and an empty body um, find your own way i'm just trying to give some tips that I thought maybe you would find interesting and fruitful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel. There's also a Patreon page. There's a, I'll put a link in the description below. And I'll see you next time where I'll begin to talk about what you do after you create that empty body. How do you take that into movement, into performance?